Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex, and this episode's subject comes in from Odd Source. Is Nintendo going to kill its fan base by treating YouTubers like a bag of assholes? So, if you didn't know, Nintendo recently came out with this system they were going to try to implement because because currently on YouTube, if um, the the automated system detects that you are using footage from a Nintendo game, they will immediately take all the AdSense revenue, all the revenue, the ad revenue from the video and claim it as their own, full stop. They're one of the only big companies that do this and it, it, it's it's pissed pretty much everyone off because it is kind of a stupid move. You're getting free advertisement, everyone's playing your games, talking about your games, telling people to buy and play the games. It makes no sense to, to filter it like that. So what they've come out and said uh, is basically... Hey everybody, we're going to introduce our, our very own Nintendo partner system where we give you the privilege of you signing up to us and we'll we'll let you take something like 40% of all the profits and we'll still keep a fucking huge chunk of it, but we'll give you a little bit there on the side, okay? And it's almost like rubbing salt into the wound. I don't think this is the right way to handle it. You can't sort of be in the middle. You've either got to say no to everything, like, no, we're monetizing everything, it's our content, it's our games, we're making them, we're keeping the profit from it, fuck you. Or just say, okay, that's it, we're, we don't need to do this anymore, just talk about our games, play about our games, spread the games everywhere so everyone's seeing it, it's free advertising, just do that. And from what I understand, there's this weird split in the middle of Nintendo America and Nintendo Japan, where Nintendo America, they get the whole internet thing, they get YouTube and how important it is to the gaming industry at the moment, but Nintendo Japan are very much set in their ways of like, no, this is our stuff, we need to keep it all sort of centralized and controlled, and we want the, the ad revenue from it. But as far as, is it going to kill the fan base? Hell no. It's going to piss a lot of YouTubers off, a lot of people who maybe make content or wanted to make content, they maybe might not play Nintendo games anymore, but is that going to kill its fan base? No, because the Nintendo audience are so dedicated, they don't care if there's a, if there's going to be a YouTube video or not, because they're going to buy their Mario games, they're going to buy their Zelda games no matter what. I've been waiting for a while, I, I, I was telling myself I was going to buy a Wii U, for, mainly for this show, so I'd have... Because um, the thing about Nintendo games is they're so, so perfect for... For YouTube stuff, because they, they are sort of the arcade a lot of them like Smash Bros and Mario Kart, they're based around these small little chunks of doing a race, doing a brawl, and, and they're just perfect for YouTube type content, but you can't use it now, unless you just want to be flagged and they and they take all the revenue from it, so it just doesn't make any sense for any YouTuber to, to use it. And I, I was going to buy a Wii U before I got a PS4, but now I'm just like, well, if it's not going to help the channel or anything anymore, what's the point? I might as well just get a PS4, because at least with that one I'm allowed to advertise and grow and show off the games without without having to worry about being flagged and all this bollocks. See, Nintendo really pissed me off with all this backwards shit. They're like, they're like trapped in 2004, aren't they? They're so stuck in their ways. They're good at making games. They're good at making their first party games. They know, they know what they're good at. They have a, they have a lot to sort out. I mean, I wish they'd just stick to their guns instead of sort of fumbling in the middle. Claim everything or don't, Nintendo. Because it makes you, it makes you look confused. It makes you look like, Look like you're trying to be, oh, look at this privilege. You're allowed to make a little bit of money from it, you know? It's, quite frankly, it's not good enough. You've got to stick to your guns like, one way or the other. So what do you guys think about this whole Nintendo YouTube content creator program thing? Personally, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed by it. I think, I think most people are annoyed about it, especially YouTube um, content creators and whatnot, because it is really restricting. And it just doesn't make any sense. Why would you not want all the free advertising? All the, Every other studio is embracing it, and, and they realize how helpful it is. Would Minecraft be a thing without it? Hell no, with all these, like, Gary's Mod and all that. It's it's so important to advertising games now. Five Nights at Freddy's, Slender, you know, all of these things. It's so important now. So what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. So, as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you leave a suggestion for future job labs. I'll see you next time. Bye. How are they going to do that? They're going to have to set up a new Spider-Man. And they're going to have to do all these reveals and everything within that movie. And it's going to be a strange, interesting way, the thing they're going to have to pull off there. Because then, I think it's 2017, there's going to be a standalone Spider-Man movie there based on, you know, the solo character and everything there. So does it does it really mean they're going to have to fly through in like 15 minutes the, the origin of Spider-Man again with a new actor, with Uncle Ben dying and I'm getting bit again? Do we...